Alright, hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for our very first part of our new Sims 2 Let's Play Strange Town. <laughs> Alrighty, so as most of you know, we have been playing with The Sims 2 Pleasant View Families, and it's been so much fun. Um, Y'all love it, I love it, but unfortunately, it's wrapping up for Season 1 of Pleasant View, but I decided to go ahead and dive into Strange Town and introduce you to some of the families because I'm just, I'm ready. <laughs> and y'all are ready, so let's go ahead and look at Strange Town. So it says, Truth Seekers move to Strange Town, hoping to discover the secrets of Town Holds the town holds. Oh my god, I can't read. What's new? <laughs> Do aliens live among us? Do missing sims mysteriously appear here? In this town, nothing is what it seems. So let's get weird. Let's get freaky. Let's get to strange town. Alrighty, it says, Welcome to Strange Town. An aspiration for knowledge has attracted a diversity of truth seekers to this small community along the road to nowhere. Can they learn to accept their neighbors or will their differences clash and spell ruin for their town? And are there reports of Bella Goth sighting fact or fiction? In Strange Town, nothing is what it seems. And then it has all of our little families here. But today, Today, we're gonna go ahead, oh, choices, choices, choices. Who are we gonna start with? Hmm. So, obviously, we do have some families in the family bin um, that I, I sometimes, you know, will add in into our empty lot so, you know, we'll be able to, like, communicate with them and whatnot, but just like in Pleasant View, they don't have, like, a, you know, storyline in a house, so I'm not going to be playing with them as an active household. So you know what, I guess what we can do is kind of go like, I mean we can make it like easy on ourselves and go one, two, three, four, five. We only have five families? Wow, okay, well that's a lot less than Pleasant View I think. But anyways, I guess today we're going to go ahead and start with our Beaker family here and introduce them. So it says that the Beaker family lives at one tilts a court and what experiments are the highly secretive and less than neighborly loki and Circe beaker i think that's how you say it is it cursey no, no no it is it's cursey oh my gosh yes i remember when i did my sims 2 to sims 4 i was learning how to say her name and i was always wanting to call her Sears, but it's actually pronounced cursey so it's cursey beaker performing on poor nervous subject will the secrecy affect Percy's career ambitions. It's going to take me a minute to get used to saying that when I see it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and enter their lot. Okay, so here we are with the Beaker family, and let's go ahead and do our usual introductions. Keep in mind that the first five parts, we will be introducing ourselves and getting everybody familiar with our family, so there's going to be a lot of reading, a lot of learning, and all of that. But anyways, when you hop into their gameplay, it says, Cursey wants a big promotion. Get her to work in a good mood, and maybe her efforts will pay off. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and introduce, this is Loki Beaker. So let's go to his bio here. It says, as soon as he perfects his latest invention, Loki is sure to get the recognition he knows he deserves. In the meantime, he keeps himself busy by trying to assemble a nuclear reactor out of common household items. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> um, so here's his personality. He is a Capricorn. Um, looks like he's uh, super, well, I don't know. What does that mean? He's super serious? Or super what? Nothing? He's neither? He's neither serious nor probably... I don't, I don't understand what that means. Moving on. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's look at... Okay, let's look at his career. So he is an inventor. Wow. So he's on up there in his career. He makes 756 simoleons a day, which is dang good if you ask me. But he does need to work on some of his skills to get another promotion. Um, alright, let's go to his memories and kind of see what we can learn about him. Alright, uh, well, let's, okay, sorry y'all, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Bear with me, but let's, uh, where's his family tree? I want to look at his family tree. Okay, so, um, his parents was Bjorn Beaker and 
Gundren Binker. Beaker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're deceased. Some okay, I wanna start looking at their their family tree because sometimes they're aliens, sometimes, you know, they're hybrids. I just think it'd be cool to know. And his sister is actually Erin Singles, which is part of the Singles household, which we are gonna have to place into a lot so, you know, we can socialize with Erin. Even though we won't be like playing with her actively, that's still cool. And then obviously he is married to Kersey. All right, so let's go into his memories. Okay, so obviously he grew, up, he grew up pretty well. He learned how to walk and talk and all that. Grew up well. He met Kersey as a child. That's really cute. He got an A-plus report card. Um, Aaron was born. Uh, he grew up well. And as a teenager, he lost a fight with General Buzz Grunt, which we will meet him later. Um, Aaron grew up well. He became best friends with Kersey. Had his very first kiss with Kersey. Um, they grew up well. He got a job, got promoted. His parents died. He grew up well, got a promotion, fell in love with Kersey. Moving on up that uh, ladder there. His mother died. He got engaged to Kersey, got married to Kersey, did woohoo with Kersey, got a promotion, and Nervous joined the family, got a promotion, and Nervous grew up Bradley, and Nervous grew up badly. So apparently, um, Nervous joined the family as a child, right? Yeah, as a child. He grew up badly twice. So interesting. All right, let's look at his chemistry. So his turn on is a hard worker and a great cook, and his turn off is unemployed. Um, is that really all that, that we need to know about him? Um, he is in a relationship married, obviously, to Kersey. Uh, they're best friends. They have a pretty high relationship, which is good. He's pretty much like acquaintances with a nervous subject. Um, they're not really friends or anything, but they're not disliked by each other, which is interesting. I guess he's basically raised nervous, but they, they torment him, but I mean, they're, they're not enemies by no means. He is enemies though with Pascal Curious, which we'll meet them later. Um, he's friends with his sister, Erin. Well, they're not friends, but, you know, they're acquaintances. Um, he uh, does not have a good relationship with uh, Vincud, Vid Vidcud, curious. And he knows General Buzz Grunt, but they're not enemies or anything like that. So, yeah. All right. That is Loki Beaker. And now, this is his wife, Kersey Beaker. Oh, we didn't look at his wants. His wants, he wants to kiss Kersey by a game, his fears is to break up with Kersey, see a ghost, and get fired. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, on to Kersey. Hey, girl. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go to her bio. Kersey knows 238 different ways to make someone scream, and none of them are nice. What the actual hell? <laughs> she enjoys taxidermy and collecting coat hangers. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> That's really creepy. Okay, I see why they're um their their husband and wife. They obviously have like the uh the same personality, except she's a bit strange. I don't really know what that means. Par oh, she's not nice. I don't think she's a nice person. Um, her turn ons. Uh oh, she likes some big fatness. Okay, hard worker and dislikes is custom hair. Um, let's look at her family tree real quick, and then we'll look at her memories. So, um, her parents, uh, Esthanos, Salamis, and, uh, Grain. I don't know these names. <laughs> but, okay, she's not a hybrid of any sort, and there's no aliens or anything like that, and she's married to Loki. Alright, now let's go to her memories and see what was up with her. So, she grew up well, um... And she met Vidkud, okay. Made best friends with Vidkud. Okay, so Vidkud is one of the Curious Brothers, right? Which is not an enemy of Loki, but they are disliked by each other. Um, she grew up well, so into a teenager. Oh, she had a very first kiss with Vidkud. And went steady with Vidkud. Right, right, all right. Okay, so the Curious Brothers, who we will meet later. Vidkud is Kersey's ex-boyfriend. Um, they broke up. Her family started to die, and she kissed Loki for the first time. 
grew up well. Okay, so if you remember his memories, they were best friends as kids. They met as kids. So that's really cute. So as a teenager, she was dating Vidka, but when her parents died, she kind of like turned to her best friend, Loki, and they had their first kiss. She grew up well. Um, she got a job. She fell in love with him. They got engaged, got married, did the woohoo. Um, they moved into their house. Nervous joined the family. She got a promotion. Nervous grew up badly. Uh, got a promotion. Nervous grew up badly. Okay, so, I mean, I think they're kind of strange. Obviously, all of these families are strange. They have, like, random weird personality and quirks, but I don't know. that That's cute. Their relationship's cute, even though they're kind of, like, weird. I think they're, like, perfect for each other. But she is actually in the medicine career track. She is an intern. She makes 574 simoleons a day, which is pretty good. Um, it's just like she's got all of her skills, skill, skills for a promotion. So she works hard. Like um, our little notification said, it should pay off in our favor. Um, what else is there to note about her? Her wants, she wants to earn some money. She does have the fortune aspiration, and he has the knowledge aspiration. I think I failed to mention that. She wants to get a promotion. Look at her neighbor's. Hmm. Okay, girl. <laughs> Earn $100. Her fear is death of Loki, get fired, and lose to the Grim Reaper. All right, so that is Cursey Beaker. Now on to Nervous Subject, which is probably one of my favorite sins in Strange Town. I just adore him, and it's my goal to give him the best life possible, and you will understand why if you don't know already. So let's go to his bio. His hobbies include twitching and blinking a lot, which is very sad. <laughs> That's very sad. Um, so, uh, I don't understand their traits. He's um, Aquarius. He's just super, is he super lazy or is he super active? Which way does this go? I don't understand. I don't. Someone help. <laughs> he does not have a career or anything because he's basically their test subject. For those of you who don't know, um... Let's go to his turn-ons. His turn-ons, he likes underwear. Oh, he's a little freaky. Uh, he likes me mechanics. He likes them to be handy, okay? His turn-off is custom hair. All right, so on to his memories. We see that he grew up badly. He met a mystery sim, which is interesting. Um, I don't know who that mystery sim is. We don't know. Uh, he moved in, which I'm assuming he moved in with Kersey and Loki. He grew up badly. He became best friends with Mystery Sim. Had very first kiss with Mystery Sim. And grew up badly. Who is the Mystery Sim? I really want to know who the Mystery Sim is. Huh. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. So his relationships. Um, okay, his family tree. For those of you who don't know, spoiler alert, we will meet the Spectre family later, but all of Spectre is his mother. Um, Ichbod Spectre was her husband, but, okay, that's not his daddy. His daddy is the Grim Reaper. We'll get into all that later, but basically, yeah, she's like a serial killer. She's a freak. We're going to talk about her. <laughs> she scares me. Um, and she woohooed with the Grim Reaper. Uh, everybody says she killed because she was in love with him and that's how he would show up. Anyways, they had nervous subject and child services took him away from her because obviously she's very unstable. <laughs> and now he lives with the Beaker family who use him as a test subject. But anyways, on to another theory about this mystery sim. Some people say that the mystery sim is actually Pascal Curious. Um, they are friends, but some suggest that maybe they're more than friends and it's like, oh, a mystery. They're like in the closet. They haven't come out yet. I'm not really sure. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. But that is his only friend. Um, he does know his mother, but they don't really have, like, much of a relationship. And he does know the other Curious Brothers, but they're not, like, really friends or anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, his wants. He does have the family aspiration. He wants to become best friends with Pascal. Um, hug, meet someone new, and he wants to move out, which, I mean, I feel you, I'd want to move out too. So his fears is to have an accident, see vermin, and get sick. All right, so yeah, that is pretty much a little introduction. Sorry, a lot of talking, a lot of me trying to, like, figure stuff out, but yeah, that is Loki Beaker, 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 <laughs> Cursey Beaker, and Nervous Subject, and yeah, this is our first family that we're going to be taking a look at. So let's look at their house, which... 
go check out my Sims 2 to Sims 4 series and see how I recreated it. Let me know if I did a good job. But anyways, they live in this old, like, abandoned castle, which I think is kind of weird because there's not a door. You just walk right up into their house. I'm going to fix that because uh, it's just, it's, maybe I won't because... I haven't fixed really any of their houses in Pleasant View. I just kind of went off with the original. We're just doing complete Sims 2 vanilla style here. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of strange. There, There's not even a front door. You just walk right in and here's their living room area. Here is their kitchen and dining area. And then we have like a little hall right here with a bath. And then over here we have their like uh, their laboratory, I guess you would call it, where they do all of their tests on poor Nervous, which is really, really sad. And this is his room down here, a little basement. Ugh, my heart, my heart. I wonder if they'll let him move out. Like, I wonder what that dynamic is. They probably don't want to lose their test subject, you know? And so you go upstairs and then we have a bedroom up here and a little bathroom, another bathroom. And this looks like the master suite because it's got like a little... Uh, desk area and seating area that connects to the bedroom so I'm assuming this is their bedroom and then we have like these balconies out here in the back we have a little grill area nice um, yeah and then it looks really cool that their house is right here next to this like power plant you know since they're all into experimenting and stuff I wonder if they like go out there and work or do their experiments I'm not really sure but yeah, anyways, what is going on? What? Make out? Oh, God. Oh, God. Y'all, that freaked me out for a second. I'm sitting here watching these two argue, and I thought that I was on Nervous Subject. Nervous Subject was trying to make out with Loki. What? Okay, so, Kersey's, uh, I guess she's probably, because she's a little creepy, is turned on by the fighting we have going on here. Um, so, Loki has a day off today, which is cool. We're not going to spend much time, honestly, like, playing with them today, because I know it's a lot of, like, talking and introducing the family. But just to, like, get a feel of their everyday life, Let's just like go through and see what happens. Where is she going? Oh, she's going to work. Okay. So he's like gossiping to him and Nervous is like, hell no. Like, are you freaking serious, dude? Like, uh, get off. Back off. Anyways, I mean, I don't blame you. I don't know. It's just a complicated life. He's got it really is. But I th we might do some experiments on him just to give you, like I said, an insight onto their life. And unfortunately for Nervous, it's, it's unfortunate. It's sad. He's a test subject. What's he doing? He's stuffing his face. Okay. Me. <laughs> that is me. Okay. But anyways, I'm not really familiar with all this stuff. So let's see. What is this? Um, use. Do we, is he using it on himself? Probably. Or is he going to use it on nervous? How does this work? Oh, hold up. Oh, he's using it on himself. Oh, gosh. Probably not what we wanted to do. He's not, oh, no. That's not That's not what we wanted to do. <laughs> okay, but over here. Oh, he's struggling. The cuckoo docker, docker, <laughs> doctor is about to visit him. Oh, y'all, this is my goal for this family. I have goals for all of my families, right? And I want to free nervous subject who's with me. Yeah, okay, here is the therapist, the cuckoo doctor, as I like to call him. Just perking him up a little bit, checking him out, and yeah, back over here. I, I thought, practice lion, offer lion test. Okay, I, I'm so confused. Practice, ask Cursey for lessons. I was like, that's Cursey stuff. Absorb skill. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Take med, make medicine. Okay, so all that is Cursey since she's in the medicine practice lion offer lessons to um i mean what is this okay hold up i, I need to find out what is this okay it's in use okay crap Blah. okay exit out of that i'm so confused we're going to see what is this the electric and ignatic energizer so does this give us energy i'm not really sure but let's have him go use it and see what happens um I thought that it would give us the option to test on him since he's the subject. But I guess it's up to our imagination to pretend that he's a test subject. And, and that's what's happening here. Aww. 
I'm such a hypocrite. I'm over here talking about how I want to free him, and I am having myself, basically, shock him to death. But I just... Is this going to kill him? Is this going to kill him? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, not good. Not good. Abort mission. Abort mission. Abort mission. Oh, my God. Who would want to use that thing? Oh, oh, I've ruined his life. I've ruined it. Oh, crap. Okay, um, oops. <laughs> He's about to pee on himself. I know he is. I bet he won't make it to the toilet. Okay, um, Loki. Wow. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab this computer here because they don't have one. And I feel like they, they would. They would have a computer, right? Okay, yeah, he's hungry. I, I basically about killed him. He's about to have a bladder failure. Okay, no, you can do it. You can make it. Okay, that's right. No, nope, he didn't. He didn't make it. Uh, he's okay. No, you're not gonna go over here and gossip. We're not doing that. Okay, can I have lunch? Can I grill some hot dogs or something? We're hungry, like really hungry. I'm not trying to kill him. Dead gum it, dead gum it. I'm ruining his life, y'all. I'm so sorry. I know we're gonna make it better. I promise. We really are, y'all. Wh why are you crying? What is your problem? Yeah, he's, he's, he's nuts. I mean, I wonder why. Anyways, y'all, this is obviously a very strange town. <laughs> Pun intended. Um, strange families. A, a lot of strange things taking place. A lot of strange things happening. Oh, my gosh. There's roaches everywhere. I don't know why. Probably because you freaking ain't even got a door, okay? And you're letting all these pests in. I can't deal with these people. I really can't. Oh, my God. Okay. You know what, y'all? Yeah, this is... This is the nervous, the nervous, this is the Beaker family in a nutshell. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here because, like I said, it is going to be a pretty short part of me just, like, talking and introducing the families the first part, um, first go around, and then once we go back around to the Beaker family, we'll kind of, like, you know, start working on their storyline and seeing what we can come up with for them. I'm going to try to not ruin his life, which I'm not doing a very good job, let's be honest, but I'm, I'm trying. I really am. But anyways, guys, I hope you are excited about Strange Town. I think it's going to be freaky. It's going to be weird. Um, It's just going to be interesting, entertaining. Uh, so yeah, let me know which family you're most excited about. And if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>